Okay, let me pause it right here. So look at where my teammates are now. They're on this side. They're watching this area of the map. So what I'm doing is I'm covering more ground and watching this area, which is why I'm propped up up here. And my main focus is in that direction. So let's keep playing. I do see someone down here. I don't have the angle on this guy, but what does Turbo do? He pulls out the C4 to get the easy kill all right welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be going over the mp7 and then i'm going to show you guys a gameplay where i'm critiquing my own gameplay and walking through my thought process and hopefully it helps you guys out there so hopefully you stick around for that but basically the mp7 has the highest fire rate out of all the smgs in the game which puts it at the fastest time to kill which is really nice if you've been struggling with melting your enemies definitely try out the mp7 and now another thing about the mp7 is that it is very user friendly it's got really great mobility and the recoil is not too bad it's pretty much a laser from long distance it's super easy to control so let's go over the class setup really quick i've got on the monolithic suppressor a lot has definitely changed for me ever since i put this on it allows me to stay as stealthy as possible because the enemies do not know where my location is when i'm firing my weapon it also does extend your damage range by about 10 percent then for my barrel i'm using the fss swat this is going to improve our aim down sight speed then for our stock we're using the no stock this one's going to give us a lot more mobility with that movement increase as well as that aim down sight speed then for our perk we're using slide of hand you really need to use it on the mp7 of course it depends on your play style if you're a fast paced type of player the mp7 does have a really slow reload time so you definitely got to put on slide of hand for rear grip i'm using the stippled grip tape this one's a must on almost any weapon that offers it this one's going to improve your aim down sight speed as well as your sprint to fire speed so that's always very important when engaging in gunfights but for perks i'm using eod then for my second perk i've got on ghost and for perk three i've got a tracker huge perk in my opinion and a very slept on perk you got to use tracker it's going to help you track down enemies much easier so another thing that i want to highlight about this class setup that's very important if you want to remain as stealthy as possible and die a lot less is using the dead silence field upgrade and when you use dead silence make sure it's when you're in heavily populated areas where there's a lot of enemies so that that way they are not able to spot exactly where you're coming from because it's so easy to hear footsteps in this game so definitely try out dead sounds if you haven't yet we're gonna switch over to my gameplay and i'm just gonna critique it and react to it and pretty much just give you guys tips and tricks on exactly what i'm doing why i'm doing it make sure to leave a like if you do want to see more videos like this drop a sub if you are new around here and you want to find your way back to the channel so you don't miss out on more gameplay breakdowns like this and i'll see you guys in the gameplay now i'm going to talk about my gameplay as i'm watching it and hopefully you guys learn something from it i'm going to try to analyze it to my best of my abilities so sit back relax and let's watch myself play some call of duty right. so when i'm spawning in from this area i like to push through the cafe as i just mentioned in the video i was actually going to do a live gameplay on this but i'd rather you know talk about what i'm doing uh so yeah i did take out that guy because i knew that they were going to come out from that spawn unfortunately i pushed way too hard and that's why they were able to take me out so you do have to be a little bit more uh cautious of your surroundings and just be mindful that you die really fast in this game and you need to be aware of that and now i'm going to be pushing into their spawn look at the hold on let me pause it right here all right so look at where i'm at right now and look at where the rest of my teammates are at this is basic call of duty logic right here so if you're trying to maximize the amount of kills that you get you need to separate yourself from your team because the more you do that the more likely you are going to come up against some enemies who are just busy engaging in gunfights with your teammates so in relation to that you are going to get some easy kills because they're not going to be focused on you so that's the theory behind it and that's why i do that so always pay attention to that mini map and just take a look and pay attention all right so now i'm going into their spawn i'm pre-aiming and i actually died i didn't see that guy so by the way guys this is just like an everyday average gameplay i'm not cherry picking anything here uh but i do go on an amazing streak man uh so yeah i'm pushing through the cafe oh died to a claymore obviously that's terrible so this is where i begin to make changes to my class setup i do change it to the class setup that i did just recommend and this is where everything pretty much just started to change for me all right so i've made the necessary changes that i needed to make look at the look on my face dude i'm so upset about that all the bs that happens in this game but you know you have to deal with it if you really want to play and be good at this game you have to use what's good so i'm being shot from behind i'm going around ring of the rosie teammates going up he takes out my teammate. That's pretty much my bait. 
Now, I see this guy. I actually get really lucky here. I see another one. I'm propping myself up in the corner. He has no idea that I'm there. There should be one other guy that's coming in here. He comes in through that doorway right there. I take him out. So right now, I'm not really moving just yet. I see these footprints, but nothing's there. Now, I'm checking their spawn as well. So look at that minimap again. I am going to eventually move away from my teammates by going this way. I'm looking at the direction that they're looking at as well. Now here we are, we're coming up into their spawn. I do get a hit marker on that guy and I decide to challenge him and I do get the kill. I do see another guy there. I'm going to pre-aim around this corner. Fire, I get the headshot. Pretty easy, man. I pretty much like got the really fast time to kill right there. I'm throwing that C4 because I do know someone else is there. Now I'm going to pre-aim. I know someone else is right. Yep, he's right there. So I'm going to grab that tag. I'm, I got my specialist bonus. We're going on a roll right now. Now, I'm going to make my way into the house here. Look at those footprints, man. Pretty much just giving away where the enemy is. That's exactly why I oh, say to use the tracker perk. It's super OP in my opinion, and I did get his buddy as well. It's just sitting in a corner. So now I'm going to push. I'm going to rotate. I don't want to stay in the same place for too long. This is exactly where they're going to be spawning in from, from the ruins area, which is where I'm going to be going soon. Gosh, Yep, I did almost die, and I also did also drop shot to make myself a harder target to hit. That's why you have to remember to change your controller settings as well to allow you to drop shot. That sentry gun was in my way. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm kind of assessing assess so now I'm kind of assessing the situation, seeing where my teammates are. I'm gonna push left, depending on what's going on. I see this guy right here. Yep, as I just stated, I'm gonna wait. I've got a really good position. There he is. Oh, too bad he didn't die. So now I'm going to rotate. Watch my back. All my teammates are on one side of the map right now. So now I'm just checking the spawn because that's where the enemy is likely to spawn in from. So now I'm, I'm rotating again. I'm checking this line of sight. There's nothing there. I'm going to check right here. This is where they're spawning in from. Nothing. So now I'm going to push. I'm going to make a bold move right here. I see their footprints. Leading to the easy kill. I was low on ammo. That's why we got to use that scavenger. Still have 36 bullets left. So I'm looking to replenish my ammo again. So I have to play a little bit more aggressive. I'm pre-aiming. I got a teammate up front. So I'm good there. I don't need to worry about that line of sight. I'm pre-aiming down here as well. Teammates engaging in a gunfight. Now I'm going to push to try and flank this guy. Because he should be uh, preoccupied with my teammate. There he is. I'm going to throw a C4. If the bullets don't kill him, the C4 will. We're on a 14 kill streak right now. Now I'm just patiently waiting. I know they're spawning in around me. Somebody just threw that flying saucer at me. I'm going to pre-aim this. Now I think I'm actually going to wait for him to come up. Now I'm actually going to back up. I'm on a 15. I want to stay on this streak. And I'm going to retreat myself from that situation because I do not want to compromise the streak that I'm on. And of course, I did come up on the kill there. Now I've got dead silence ready to go. Now, I put on that dead silence right away because I knew that there's a lot of enemies around me. Somebody just threw a C4 up there. And I'm not going to take any chances. I'm getting out of there. I'm using my stim shot. And I'm going to rotate. I'm going to look to rotate. Notice how I'm also sticking to the outskirts of the map. I see an enemy just drop down from that wall. I'm on a 17 right here. Sticking to the outskirts of the map definitely do give you an advantage. And unfortunately, this guy heard my footsteps. You know, I played it back. And he did hear my footsteps, and that's the unfortunate part. We ran out of dead silence in that situation, but that's fine. So now I, I know that that guy is still here. He should still be there, and that was him. Got my revenge medal. I'm pre-aiming. Now I'm looking to push upstairs because I do hear somebody else. Got the easy kill. Teammate is definitely keeping an eye on that line of sight, so I don't really need to worry about that. Oh, I got shot. You know, I really don't know where he came from right there. I should have just looked at the kill cam. Uh, obviously, I'm a, a little frustrated about that. So I came up on an easy kill right there. So now I'm pushing my way into the back alley. There's a bunch of tags in front of me. I know that there's going to be some enemies here. But I'm going to approach with caution. I'm going to pre-aim here. I get, a, I get a hit marker. Stim shot myself. See the grenade. I take the risk. And I go for the easy kill. Actually, no, that wasn't my kill. That was teammate's uh, kill. So I'm stim shotting again. I'm pre-aiming. I see those footprints. I know they're there. Okay, 
Picked up the nice double kill. Now we've got our restock. We should be getting our stim shot very soon. I'm gonna pre-aim down this line of sight because I know that that's where the enemies are coming from. And as you can see, I'm alerted because I saw footprints. There they are again. They're pretty fresh. I'm pre-aiming teammate to my left. He's definitely keeping an eye right there. And that's what I'm looking for as well. Because if teammate's not engaging in a gunfight, then I don't really need to worry about looking in that direction. And as you can see, I did cut off the choke point from where the enemy was headed towards. Teammate just died to my left. That's how I knew to look. So I'm going to grab this tag. And also because I wanted that scavenger pack. So now I'm going to go to the same spot. I'm going to pre-aim here. Now, the reason why I'm not pushing is because look at... Okay, let's pause this real quick. I, I try to do these with as little, uh, you know, pauses in between. Uh, but the reason why is because look at where my teammates are right now. They're all bunched up over here. Most of their triangles are facing towards this direction, uh, which is behind me right now. And the reason why I'm not pushing too deep into their spawn is because I know that if I go there and I engage in the combat... They are going to be spawning in weird places that I don't really know where they're coming in from and I'm just going to get pinched. So that's not a good idea for me to push. I would rather just watch this whole area here, wait for them to come to me and get the easy kills. So obviously it's been working out for me. So I do see somebody right there, did pick them off. Now I'm going to come back to the other side. So it's all about like positioning, you know, being able to control an area. Now I'm going to pre-aim here as well. Still not pushing yet. I do see some bullets. I'm going to take the risk, take him out. He was leaning, so he didn't have a chance to react. And now we're back on our specialist bonus. I'm very low on ammo. I'm going to pick up this foul. You know, I really don't want to do that. As you can see, I switched to my secondary, which will allow me to keep my MP7. And <laughs> I got super lucky right there. So I did pick up the scavenger pack. Now I'm back using the MP7. Right now, okay, okay, let me pause it right here. So look at where my teammates are now. They're on this side. They're watching this area of the map. So what I'm doing is I'm covering more ground and watching this area, which is why I'm propped up up here. And my main focus is in that direction. So let's keep playing. I do see someone down here. I don't have the angle on this guy, but what does Turbo do? He pulls out the C4 to get the easy kill. You got to utilize your smarts, people. Remember what kind of equipment you have. Use it to your advantage. So this spot in particular is a little strange. So obviously they're not spawning from the area I was looking at earlier. Uh, so now I'm wondering where could they be spawning in from? Because I have a teammate over there, so they can't really be spawning in from here. So there's no teammates here in this particular area. So the only way that they'll be coming in from is probably from this little market area. So let's play it out. Let's watch. I'm watching my lines of sight as well. I think teammate was trying to climb that ladder. I'm watching my back. I got my dead taunts. Oh, I'm being spotted. That's why I like that spotter perk. Uh, this is where things get a little hairy. So I, I did see someone right there. And I think they threw a grenade. That's why I went down. But uh, time's about to expire here. And that's pretty much it. So, so I got 32 kills, 13 confirms. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much how I process what I'm doing. I, I find... Oh, let's go watch this play of the game real quick. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm pretty much uh, just... Hold on, let me mute myself. I can't really talk because I'm muting myself. I mean, I can't really talk because I'm talking. So I, get, I end up with 32 kills, 9 deaths, 13 confirms. Let me pause this, but... Ooh, <laughs> I don't want to pause it with my mouth open. Okay, there you go. So yeah, guys, it's all about assessing the situation and just going with the flow of the game. But for the most part, if you're really trying to stay alive, you really have to give yourself the best stealthy setup as possible. And at the same time, distance yourself from your enemies and use their positioning to your advantage so that you can go ahead and flank the enemies and get easier kills. Because if they're not going to go towards your enemies, I mean, if they're not going to go towards your teammates, then they're definitely going to be going towards your direction if you're positioning yourself correctly. All right. So always remember that. Drop a like on this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.